Welcome back party people. We got another good one for you. This video is entitled The Curious Case of Kevin Samuels. This woman is going to critique um, some of Kevin's videos and teachings. So let's see what she has to say about it. The image consultant and now popular dating guru Kevin Samuels is fast on his way to 1 million subscribers. He's already there. Thanks to his infamous Your Average at Best video. Ma'am, ma'am. You're average looking at best. Now, millions of people are aware of his brush, straight to the point way of thinking and the advice that he gives to men and women who want to be high value or attract a high value man. Today, I'm going to critique that thinking. Matter, stop. No, you will not over talk. And today, I'm going to critique you. You will not over, you will not over talk. Unfit we Black women are your own counsel. You sit around and talk to each other. So notice that she put the sinister music in the background. Notice she's trying to make him seem like a, the bad guy. And I picked up on that right away. Listen to the listen to the music in the background. And that you can fix one another when you're all broke. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Did you notice that? Before we get into the video, two quick things. Firstly, hi. I'm Adela. I like to encourage my viewers. What's up, Adela? Openly and critically. And second of all, disclaimer to Kevin Samuel supporters. I have tried my hardest to make this video without pride or preconception. So please, please listen to it without pride and preconception. I've taken a different approach to this in that I've tried to understand myself why I think Kevin thinks the way he does. So... I want to stop right there, and that's the first um, disclaimer right there I want to add, is that it's not just Kevin Samuels that thinks the way he does. Um, <clears throat> he brought a lot of the issues that we have in, as a black society to the forefront, and not just black, it's just men and women all together. But he's telling you the way that men think, and women are opposed to it because again like we've always said and i've said it too women don't typically care how men feel you guys don't care at all so he's brought it to the forefront so it's not just kevin ma'am it's it's most of us also be admitting where i think he's right because i do think he speaks some facts no okay More facts, but some facts Let's go. I'm sure you know who Kevin Samuels is, but for those of you who don't know, he is a 52-year-old image consultant who looks to help anybody who wants to improve their image, but he's recently become popular as a dating and relationship coach. So before we get step into dating guru side of Kevin Samuels, here's a bit about his background. So he graduated with a chemical engineering degree. He has a background in sales. This actually plays a big part in who he is. He has been married twice, divorced twice, and has a child. Uh, I hope when you have children, you don't have to experience that level of hurt as a parent with an ungrateful child. Okay, let's move forward. We'll get back to that. He owned his own marketing and advertising agency. He's a Christian, having served in about three singles ministries. I was over singles ministry uh, at three different churches. Remember that point for later. He got his start on YouTube about five years ago, reviewing men's fragrances. And he's got some style, I can't lie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who this? So after fragrances and stuff, he switched to telling men how to level up, placing importance on things like work ethic in terms of how to generate wealth and be a higher value man. So we know he's very straight talking, but it's worth noting that he gives it to men as much as he gives it to women. How tall are you? Absolutely, I'm he does. Five, five. Just turned kind of shape are you? Um, I, I'm overweight, working on what it right now. Okay, okay, you got two struggles already. You can't be short and fat. But I will touch on that later. <laughs> so then very more true. women started tuning in and he actually found that women were his more engaged audience. So he switched to talking more about women's issues and giving them advice, which is a great marketing tactic because he is a marketer. After a few years, the viral video, your average at best, <laughs> went viral. I mean, my body is not average, so... But you're... Ma'am, you please don't make me say it. Um, I actually have a video on this. <laughs> Admittedly, I had not watched any of the Kevin Samuels content. I haven't done my research when I did that video. Ma'am, please I don't have now. So Kevin has recently popularized, not invented, but popularized the term high value man. He talks about it a lot. He defines like a high value man in many ways. 
he also says that being a high value man has absolutely nothing to do with women. High value man has nothing to do with women. I would agree with that. Um, and I, whatever his definition of high value man is, but a man and his purpose has nothing to do with women. Um, I'm about my purpose. I'm on my way to do what I need to do. And it has nothing to do with women. None, nothing at all. Uh, will, will, will some woman reap the benefits? Absolutely. But this has nothing to do with women. This is about me and what I want to do and the messages that I want to put out there also defines what a high value woman is and he very clearly says first and foremost a high value woman is proven by her usefulness to men a high value woman more than anything else it is linked to her usefulness to men but we will talk about that a bit later so stay tuned so why is Kevin so popular? Hmm. <laughs> well, I will be the first to admit that as women, as a woman myself, I do feel like we can be a little bit sensitive to the truth and the truth can hurt us. It can hurt me. And I, I like how she's being a little coy about it. A little bit sensitive. Yeah, no, very, very sensitive to the truth. Women don't like it. And that's a large part of why um, Kevin got a lot of backlashes because women felt like he was way too abrupt in his speaking. Um, so sometimes we just have to call it like it is. If we can call a man fat, then we can call a woman fat. That's just the way that it is. And we can't have this two-sided coin in society. If there are men who are fat, there are also women who are fat. Just saying. And so I feel like sometimes as women, we do pander to each other in an effort to uplift and encourage. Sometimes? Sometimes you pander to each other? How about all the damn time? Every time two women talk to each other, you guys pander to one another. And it's actually at your detriment. It actually hurts your girlfriend when you pander to her. Now, there's, there's a different way. Like, men are very supportive of one another, but we're honest. Our support is in our honesty. So women lie to one another in order to, to support them, which doesn't help them. You can't lie to someone and have them believe the lie that you're telling them and, and have them believe that it's for their own good. No. If I'm speeding, you should tell me to slow down. Now, girl, you getting there in record time. No. Slow down. Because we have maybe been oppressed by men in the past. Oh, here we go. <laughs> and this day and age, we're in 2022 right now. No, women aren't being oppressed. Stop it. Stop with the, the craziness. Now, I can see if this was the 1920s or... You know, back when women couldn't vote and they didn't have any rights. Yeah, I could see that. But you have never lived in a world, you young lady yourself, have never lived in a time and era where you were suppressed, where you were... You were oppressed. Women today are not oppressed. Stop lying. And as a result, we do encourage and we do uplift one another, but we may have bread may a gender of mm -hmm. delusional expectations thank you a little bit but that's a whole nother topic thank you it's not a little bit stop quantifying it with a little bit or probably or maybe you are definitely doing that <laughs> so i feel like what kevin has done and why his predominantly male supporters are so supportive is because they're screaming, yes. <laughs> See, and in the beginning of the video, like I said, she said, I'm trying to figure out why this is the way that Kevin thinks. No, it's all of us. This is why he has such a large male base is because we all are thinking it. And the fact that he was able to put a microphone in his a microphone and a camera in his own face and tell women outright how they feel has opened up the door for a lot of men to be able to say the same thing. I'm not saying he's the first to do it. I'm not saying he's the first, but he's the first that I've come across. They treat. So I get it. You hear what women want. Great. 
Well, I have one question to the women. What do the kind of men you want want from a woman? And that's when you get cricket ass quiet. You can't ask that sh man. So I spoke about this in my binary thinking um, video. You should check that out afterwards. But I feel like what he's doing is he is speaking to the silent majority or it might not be the majority but he's speaking to a silent group of people predominantly men who maybe feel that they cannot express their truth in terms of their true views um because they will be cancelled so kevin samuels is speaking up for those people so totally makes sense so i think kevin's breakdowns sometimes can be a little bit necessary especially in cases for example where a woman a person may not have actually done the maths to determine whether the expectations that they are expecting are in fact realistic so for example i could be a woman saying oh i want um a man to look after me and three kids and then you're like okay how much does that man have to make and then you do the maths and you're like are you even around these kind of people that make that kind of money you know simple maths like that so i feel like sometimes these breakdowns do make a lot of sense and are sometimes necessary so i feel like it's one of those things i where agree the sooner we get a reality check the sooner we can come to terms with those things and the sooner we can get the life that we actually want and that's actually achievable. Not to say, oh, let's settle, but actually realizing what's important and realizing that like social media and celeb culture has uh, bamboozled us. <laughs> so I'm gonna say about settle, like, look, if I've only got $10,000 in the bank to buy a car, right that's all i got right and i, I want to buy the car outright right i may be able to get a hyundai right or you know a ford or or something you know something economical is what i'll be able to afford that's what i can afford now i may want a lexus or a bmw or a bugatti i may want something extravagant but i can't afford it so I'm not settling for the car that I can get. I'm not selling for the Hyundai because I want the Lexus instead. That's just all I can afford. That's all I qualify for. So if I don't qualify for anything better, I'm not settling. That's just all I can get. That's what I can get. So if you are a woman and you have a certain attitude that does not align with the type of man that you want if you have a certain weight that doesn't align with the type of man that you want if if you just don't do the things that the type of man would want you to do if you're not nurturing and sensitive and sweet and you know i sometimes put up here uh qualities of a wife right so if you're not nurturing, sweet, sensitive, supportive, gentle, warm, passive, cooperative, expressive, expressive is okay. Um, just not aggressive, modest, you have humility, you can go on. Then you have to get the man that you can get. Because if you lack any of these things, you, 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 you get what you get. The thinking that one thing is important when it's actually not important or even achievable for us however and you know what this is not even a criticism of kevin himself this is a criticism of his supporters i feel like he has bred something in them that i can only describe as an ugly confidence just look at the comment section of his videos i feel like because he's articulate and he has the guts or the confidence to say what he thinks inarticulate unarticulate inarticulate men who in real life would never put a woman in her place, they live vicariously through him. Hmm. So I don't rate that. <laughs> I'm a firm believer of keeping the same energy to the point where I'm not even a confrontational person. So most of the times, right, I won't even say what I want to say because I know I wouldn't say it to their face. So for example, what I'm saying on this video, if I wasn't willing to, you know, say it to Seth Kevin, if he was sat right next to me, I just wouldn't say it. And I just feel like people should keep the same energy in the comment section, in real life, on the internet. Now... So I don't know if I necessarily agree with that because sometimes you could you could align that way of thinking to a lot of different things. Uh, let's say a woman who's in an abusive relationship. If her husband is smacking her around and she doesn't have the courage to leave, should she just keep the same energy and stay with him? No, she shouldn't. So if somebody's encouraging you to speak up and speak out, and let's say racism, right? 
like some people are scared to speak out uh, when it pertains to racism or sexism. But you just need one or two people to speak out against it to give you the courage to do it too. Because you know it's not right. It's not fair. So if he gave men the courage to speak out against women who think this way, what's wrong with that? Here is my theory about Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels, in his past, or maybe even in his present, has been a somewhat irresponsible husband, maybe even an irresponsible father. Hmm. And I feel like he has had negative or frustrating interactions with women and maybe even his child. As a result, he has abandoned or failed in his responsibilities. Well, the main area in his life that he has been successful in is his finances. So because he was divorced twice and he has a child, he has failed. Obviously, the marriage has failed, but he has failed at being a father. He failed. So here is the tear down, right? Let's tear the man down. As it so happens, we live in a world that prioritizes men's finances you that and crazy. women's beauty. I did a video on beauty standards if you want to check it out. Kevin has latched onto this one measure of success and he has allowed it to shape the rest of his teachings. The result of this has been half-truths that call out everything women do wrong in a pursuit of a relationship or in a relationship itself. But when it comes to relationships, he completely abdicates men of all and any and every responsibility aside from financial provision. There's so the problem with that is, young lady, there are, there are hundreds of videos of women, thousands of you can get on TikTok and you can scroll for hours about women complaining about men. But you get one man that is advocating for men and you have a problem with that? Of course you're going to have a problem with that because that means you've got to do something to fix yourself. Of course you're going to have an issue with that. And then most guys are going to end up having an issue with you. That's just the way it works. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us. It's your boy T.O. at Time Out. Be sure and hit the like, subscribe, notification bell now. Um, help us keep this party going. We'll catch you in the next one. Deuces.